During the Yuan Dynasty of China, Goryeo of Korea was a vassal state of the dynasty. As tribute, Korea had to provide beautiful teenage girls to the Yuan Mongol Emperor on a regular basis. Among them, one eventually became the Empress of China. She was Empress Yi. Empress Yi was born into a family of a low-ranking official in Korea in 1315. In 1320s, at 18 years old, she was sent to China as a female tribute. She was presented to the Mongol Emperor as a tea maid. Initially, she was assigned to be responsible for the Emperor's tea. It was said that Empress Yi was beautiful and talented in art. She quickly attracted the attention of the Emperor. They often discussed about painting and poetry. The Emperor adored her and made her one of his consort in 1333. However, this made the current empress, Empress Dana Shili, very jealous. She was worried that the beautiful Empress Yi would soon become the empress favorite. Legend said the empress often tortured and beat her. Not soon afterwards, Empress Dana Shili's brother plotted a rebellion, but he failed. The empress tried to defend her brother, but unfortunately she was implicated and was executed in 1335. After her death, the emperor planned to make Empress Yi his new empress. However, it was opposed by the minister. The minister successfully persuaded the emperor to marry another Mongol girl, Ba Yang Hudu, who was only 13 years old. She then became the new empress. People described the new empress as frugal. In 1339, Empress Yi gave birth to a son. The emperor was excited and wanted to raise her status. Therefore, the year after, he named her the second empress. It was unprecedented because only Mongol girls could be the empress, so it was opposed by the minister. Later, the emperor began to worry about the increasing power of the minister, so he was removed from power. Without the obstacle, Empress Yi successfully became the second empress. Gradually, the emperor lost interest in political affairs. He gave power to Empress Yi to run the government. Empress Yi then became the unofficial ruler of China. Empress Yi did not have a good reputation in Korea because she betrayed and invaded her home country. Empress Yi monopolized the emperor's affection and took advantage to exercise political power in his name. Her brother was appointed as an overseer of the East, making him the de facto ruler of Korea. He and his brother, supported by Empress Yi's power in China, plotted to overthrow the Korean king. However, their plot failed. The whole Yi clan was then exterminated by the Korean king in 1356. Empress Yi was furious at the massacre of her clan. She then responded vengefully. She dispatched the Mongol army against her homeland Korea, but the troops were finally defeated by the Korean. Therefore, many Koreans saw her as a traitor. They portrayed her family as ambitious and pleasure-seeking. One of her brothers was even listed in the traitor section in the history of Goryeo. To consolidate the power in the palace, Empress Yi set up a special government agency where she had the authority to collect tests. Within her special agency, she gave many positions to the Korean eunuchs, including her closest servants. At the same time, Empress Yi contributed a lot to charity works. In 1358, when famine and disease were widespread in the capital city, Empress Yi ordered to distribute porridge to the people. She also ordered to bury the bodies. Therefore, she acquired a good reputation. In 1363, the son of Empress Yi was appointed as the crown prince. Later, Empress Yi plotted with her son to force the emperor to vacate the throne. However, they did not succeed as the Mongol army opposed against her. In 1365, Empress Baiyan died. Empress Yi then became the official Empress of China. But just three years later, the Yuan Dynasty was attacked by the Han Chinese rebels led by Zhu Yuanzhang. They successfully seized power and founded the Ming Dynasty. 
the Mongol imperial family, including the emperor, Empress Qi, and the crown prince, fled to the north, where they established Northern Yuan, which lasted only 20 years. The emperor died soon afterwards. Their son succeeded the throne as the emperor. It was unclear if Empress Qi ever became the empress dowager. Her death remained a mystery.